I'd have just started playing this. Be careful. I might lose. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, let's do it. See his shirt. He, let's see if you know what he's like, doing. He makes his own designs. I don't, know what I'm doing. I don't <laughs> want you to lose the last game. I told you I don't know what I'm doing. Backgrounds for my chess. Oh, you don't believe me? Just one? So I started putting my video backgrounds. Oh. I told you that I started playing this. And take it easy. I told you take it easy. Oh! I got the idea. I got the idea. For the Mr. Beast chess video. Oh, okay. <laughs> Explaining the rules of chess for 10 hours. I'm not sure what that does. If anything. Like repeating? <laughs> oh. Oh. So it so should yeah. move like this. Yeah, so for all the people who don't... This guy wants the, the rook in the corner? Yeah, they don't get it the first time. And they can keep watching it. Yeah, yeah. And then... That can't be right. And then they'll be like, see if you know how to play. Uh, at seven hours and fifty-seven play. minutes, this and thirty-two this seconds, he's, he he forgot to mention that you can't pass it through check. <laughs> Do it over. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> Yeah, and it's I getting. I can have that. I got it. Getting yeah. the word. I can have it. What? Get the script down. What do you need? What, Twenty minutes. You're gonna give me that? What is it you need? I've, I've never, never done, done it. it. Come talk to me. It's, it's, it's not strong yeah. enough. What can you do about it? Says, it says he would say like Logan Paul for ten hours. I will yeah. leave that there, man. <laughs> you watch so, Logan Paul's like rap videos. Like, it's easy. The pieces are all over. They're stepping on each other's toes. Yeah, That's okay. the there you go. This guy, I think it's not the kind of move you like to make. I know. But, you know, uh, a recent tournament uh, was uh, not close, and it was at the uh, the Westgate. Yeah, I was at Let me see right. what's going on. Just gotta and focus, man. You're gonna be okay. Like man. near the end, that's all you gotta do is slow focus. Oh man, look at all married. these holes. I'm gonna get you through. Look at yeah. yeah. all these holes. I'm gonna get you through. Let me just move out of danger. Oh, oh, look at this. It made me make a good move. I guess they got married. It made me make a good move. I thought you were talking about the Elvis statue. <laughs> Among other things. I see you like that. I see that you love So right, now it's time to panic. Time to panic. For who? Man? For one of us. Should I panic? Here, I'm gonna give you the world. Oh my right god. You did that? Let me see what you do with the close, world. Close, real close. You did that, huh? Hang out. Oh, there's a lot of that. Yeah. I really don't. Can't believe you did that. I really don't. Can't believe it. Bathrooms aren't. Yeah. Let me come back. Come on back. It's hot. There's bird crap everywhere. Oh no 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 no. Okay, but it makes a good video. Everyone. Let me go. It's got a good backdrop. Let me see. I just want to develop. Here, let me do that. I knew that was going to happen eventually. The panic had to come. I'm going to help you develop. That's what happens. I'm going to help you develop. Thank you, sir. Let me go over here. That's where you want to go. That's where I want to go. Okay, now. Now. So we got what we wanted. Don't panic. Let me go forward. Don't panic now. This is your time. This is your moment. Mm -hmm. This is your moment, remember. So on a scale of 1 to 10, though, how happy are you with your life? How happy am I? This is your moment. That's interesting. So I read you uh, questions. On one of the recent lessons, I'm happy with your life. Myself. He was talking about something called. Um, he told this parable that Jesus Christ told, which I don't really know the story. I have to defend, man. He tells, I can't let you make me. He tells the, you know, tells the crowd that there's this man who had two sons. One of them, one of them says he would do what his father asked and did it. The other one said he would, but did. So who paid their father? The answer is obvious, isn't it? Oh, Wait, the second son, what the second son? The second son didn't Gotta give me what said I he wouldn't, but he did. The first son said he would, but didn't. So who oh, obeyed? The second whole right. point? Right, so the point is that well, let me outward appearances let me don't, this guy. don't reflect like the true nature of things. Never Similarly, like most people would say they have outward humility, but very few have inner, like inward humility. Mm -hmm. So don't believe me? God, I'm only up one piece. How many, how many times have you, up more than that. you sought out me mentors and told oh, them, you don't want to trade. Hey, I want to learn no, from you. I acknowledge that 
you know something yeah, that I would like to know. Been a trailer, you know? How many books have you read? Because that's admitting, again, that you don't know things. And but what do you actually do? Like, so, so the cut, so, yeah, so you ask these questions, like, how many... How many books have you read? How many, how, how many mentors have you sought out and stuff? See that lonely how, mu there? I'm coming how much money have you spent um, I'm coming for to you. You had you, you had your chance. Your life, like to get the knowledge or experience you need, or something like that. So, so I think those are the, the three things. Same thing in football. You gotta figure it out now. I think. And anyway, I might. My humility score is yeah, probably like a four out of ten for inward humility. Anytime a guy makes Bishop C A, you, you just have to punish it. I rated myself even lower, but I think I was probably too far. Like I, I rated myself three point two five with the things that were assessed, but it's probably like a four. <laughs> um, anyway, so what we were talking about was happiness. Though. How happy am I? Because that's not the real question. The next question is the real question. Okay. Oh, okay. How happy am I? Well, let me do the obvious. I know. Like six point two five. I know, man. Uh, let's see where the minus <laughs> goes. I'm passing. <laughs> <laughs> what will make it a ten? Without what? 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 Without for the coup de grace. Okay, man. Com you know, completing my goals, moving to the next phase of my life. I think I can just go back. Give him the grandmaster version. Because I, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, um, I'm sowing the seeds, and later on I'll be able to reap them more. <laughs> so you're saying your happiness will jump to a ten when you achieve your goals. But isn't that your aren't you becoming outcome dependent? Like letting the circumstances dictate I went on time. Well, you might win. I mean, as far as uh, I also I'm enjoying what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm thinking that I'll enjoy it more. <laughs> I gotta get this bad later, right? I mean, because that. All right, here's the thing about being outcome dependent. Is you're, you're asking like it's a black and white question, but isn't there like a spectrum? I mean, between being totally reliant on the outcome and, oh, and enjoying the there? process, because I think you can enjoy both or do, and do them in right. different I'm levels. That's something, another thing he, he teaches is um, mm -hmm. no. stop thinking things in black and white. <laughs> Ad be adaptable. Be adaptable. It's, not, you know, it's not the strongest or the smartest that survive. It's the ones that adapt. adapt. The Neanderthals were bigger than us. They were probably smarter than us. Uh, let me come back. Maybe right. they, they had like, you know, advanced tools before we did. But then they they died out. I mean, we actually most people have uh, like two percent Neanderthal DNA or something. So they they died out, but they were like remnants. remnants yeah. <laughs> Oh! 
One minute. Oh, one second. Good. Wow. Man. Good job. 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 Good and why Pierce didn't take. This would have been the continuation if um, <clears throat> if White took here, then Queen check, and if White tries to block, then he has this nasty fork right here. And um, here, if the king decides to move over, then um, Black snatches up another pawn, tempos the queen, queen moves back, and White got, I mean, black. The black queen got two pawns, and for uh, White's king forfeits his right to castle. And this rook is gonna, it's gonna take a little time for the rook to get out. Maybe the king can kind of castle manually here, but um, that was a compensation for black um, for doing that sack if White accepted. Um, and here. Uh, Twister sacked again, and it looks like he likes to sack for pawns and to better position his pieces. So uh, he'll get two pawns and a centralized queen for that. And another sack here, just crazy, just trading everything off. And um, But let's go to, I bet a lot of you were wondering in this position, kind of... Um, these two pawns look kind of dangerous, right? Two pawns connected on the six or with a rook, and you're wondering what would have been kind of the best play here. What would have happened if this pawn was pushed or this pawn was pushed? And um, <clears throat> if you want to pause the video and find the best move for white in this position, you can do so now. It's simply get these pawns rolling. Get these pawns rolling. This looks scary, but because the the white king is on a um, different color square from the bishop that can't get kicked out, and because there is this bishop here kind of protecting the uh, seventh rank, white is actually fine in this position. But um, definitely understand why white decided to simplify. He was low on time and he just didn't want to calculate. But in this position, if let's say um, computer actually recommends g4 for black in this position, but um, all you do is just keep rolling that pawn, and if black decides to push now or never, all white has to do, if you want to pause the video, all white has to do is just sack. Sack these pieces, and then um, roll these pawns, t and then liquefy, and then the bishop, the black bishop, will be forced to um, sacrifice itself to save itself from queening, and then all white has to do is get rid of this pawn and just march this pawn down to victory. So if you want to see how the continuation looks like really quick. And now the black king is stationary, he can't move, and now all the black uh the black bishop is the only piece that can move now. And uh white king is gonna start gobbling up those pawns. And then white will wait for the push, and then there's the sack. And um, White can even afford to sack his knight here because the king won't catch the pawn in time. So that's the uh, continuation. If if White, I mean Black, pushed this pawn, let's say hypothetically um, Black pushes the other pawn, <coughs> this might look a little better since it forces the king on a white square that can be kicked out by the White Bishop. But what's going to happen here is this knight is going to be the magic of the game, as you'll soon see. So, Black's going to try to get kick the uh, king out, but White defends. And now, what White King's going to do is a little bit of maneuvering. And notice how this bishop, the White's bishop, is kind of protecting the queening square here. And um, White's going to queen. I mean, Black's going to queen. And in both instances, um, White's bishop sacks itself for one of the pawns. And here's the beautiful part about White's knight in this position. Black is threatening to queen, but um, black. I mean, all white has to do is just push the uh, king up, 
And now if you want to find the best move for white in this position, I already kind of gave you a hint, but it's simply, you got to be patient. Knight c3. Why? Because um, the only chance that black has to to um, cover the queening square is to move his um, bishop here, but obviously knight defends the square, so this is going to be an easy win for uh, white. So moral of the story is that you know these two pawns look really scary along with this bishop and the king coming up, but you know white has enough defense. He just needed more time to think, and I think he would have found it. But otherwise, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.